Being a female in the art world, in the sports world, is like a, a big challenge. Yo creo que el papel de las mujeres es súper importante, no solamente en el arte, sino en el fútbol, porque nosotras con nuestra energía femenina, la energía femenina es crear, justamente. Yeah. Tenemos una visión diferente a lo que de por ahí un, un hombre no podría. What's going on? I'm Jessica Flores, and this is Radio Colores. I'm here at the Adidas Football Society in Miami, celebrating all things football culture. I get to sit down and talk to Paraguayan artist Lili Cantero about her journey, Miami lifestyle, and how football influences our culture. Art, it was always in my life. Paintings of Leonardo da Vinci, Monet. I was trying to copy the styles. That is how I discovered that I love art. In Paraguay, we live the, the football with so much passion. I find a way to put together the two things that I love the most, the, my passion for the art and yeah. my passion for football. In Paraguay, we listen a lot of reggaeton. Uh, also, Guarania, that is a music from Paraguay. It, we play with um, arpa. We in Paraguay have another language. Uh, one is Spanish, obviously, and the other one is Guarani, that is the, the origin, origin, lengua originaria. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. Okay. So it's totally different. So for example, you say, I don't know, hola in Spanish, and in Guarani is Baixapa. It's kind of a parallel world from another country, like for example, Argentina, Brazil, yeah. that are next to us. What are the Do main it. things that you're missing about your home country? Food. We, for example, have the terere, es la otra forma de mate. Because okay. you have the mate that is hot and the terere is Paraguayan beverage, but it's cold. And they and have that here? No, they oh, don't. Oh, they don't have so it. So <laughs> everyone that is coming, they bring me yerba. <laughs> You have done some incredible work, including for Messi. For example, Messi, I didn't meet him before I painted. It was a tough moment because I was uh, thinking to quit art. I sent it to a friend in Barcelona. This friend gave it to a guard. The guard gave it to Messi. And three months later, he sent me the, the picture of him with the boots. It went viral, obviously. Oh my <laughs> and what I thought at the beginning was a, like the closure of my artist career. It was a before and after and changed everything. A big topic that you want to express through your art is the importance of chasing your dreams. Why do you feel like that's important? I feel it's important because I, I live that. Uh, I have the opportunity today to do what I love and have an amazing opportunities in life through my art. So I want everyone to live that, to have the, to give themselves the opportunity to, to dream big, to have the life that they want and to do the, the thing that they love in life. What are some things that you want to express through your art? Because my art is so related to sports, I want to express the good things about this. Specifically, football for us as Latin American is kind of a way of opportunity to dream without limits. Yeah. So football is kind of a way to uh, have the opportunity to grow in life. Yeah. Know? So and I want to express that through my artwork. Uh, for example, when I when I paint for a football player that is already famous right now, uh, I try to go deep in her childhood, in his childhood, and see what uh, what he has in common with the rest of us. So we can see he's not only an icon and idol, but he's uh, just like us. This piece is, oh, is going to be part of my collection. It's going to have all the team here. So is it still in process? You don't have to judge the process. <laughs> <laughs> it's all hand painted. Some, some people say that it's printed, but no. This is you freehand painting this? Yeah. Una imagen de referencia and then I look and paint it. When I finish, uh, got frame and everything and got la firma de los jugadores. Oh.